Hi, this is Louise Gat from the Purpose Led School and welcome to this week's short. What I want us to explore today is the scaling of the new economy. Because one of the things that I'm finding is that we are at this key point where a lot of us for many years, I know I started my journey in this in 2009, we've worked really hard to be these pioneers to help the emergence of a new economy, of a new way of approaching business, of purpose-led work. And it's been working. And now we're at this critical stage where it's becoming more or less mainstream. I know that for a lot of us, there's still some frustration that it's not happening fast enough and the changes aren't big enough. But we've really shifted from this time of early adopters to now we're going into the point where it's going mass. And what I'm seeing is actually something interesting that in my previous time when I was doing quite a lot of consulting on change management and often I would go in to save changes, What I found was that one of the pieces that was the trickiest was when an organization was wanting to buy in a startup that had succeeded and integrating it into a multinational or global organization. And this was the point where a lot of those integrations actually failed. Because there was this idea of, hey, we've just bought a product and, you know, we're just going to integrate it into our product portfolio. But it was failing to understand that there was a whole culture behind the organization and the people who had actually been able to create that new product, that new innovation. And so there was an element of just taking the product and then throwing away the rest. But in doing that, we were kind of losing the essence of what had made that product possible and also what would enable that product to keep evolving in the right way in terms of its existing customers and also future customers. So what was happening, there was this kind of ripping out of the entrepreneurial spirit, the pioneering spirit, the creative aspect that had enabled that product to be as successful as it was. I want to also add the passion, the purpose, the heart that had made it become what it was. And that's what I'm seeing happen, or there's a risk of happening in the new economy. In the sense that having been part of that pioneering movement, to birth that new economy. I know what it's taken. I know what it's been like to be in those trenches, to be talking about the things where everybody just thought you were just crazy, to start to be willing to be in the imagination of things that were fundamentally different, even if they didn't seem possible, to go into the highs and lows and live through them, hopefully survive and live through them and keep going through the desire and the path, the journey to bring change, to bring fundamental change, to create new products, to advance new ways of thinking, and to do that through our work, our businesses, our leadership. And I know that personally, I would never have it a different way. But I'm also very clear, it's not been an easy path. And why I'm mentioning that right now is that I'm seeing that as we're going mass, we're having large organizations, large consultancies, which are essential to really enable the scale that we need. But treat this as if it's like, we just need to learn a little bit about sustainability, regeneration, circular economy, all the different kind of terms and aspects. And it's a bit like the risk is just like those entrepreneurial ventures that I was talking about before, that we rip the soul out 
of what this movement has really been about. It's been a movement of pioneers, of creatives, of entrepreneurs, of change makers, of the ones who have been willing to be the outliers, to be walking in the wilderness, in uncharted territory, to imagine new worlds, to invent new maps. And so the reason why we now have maps that we can integrate into a sustainability course is because those pioneers were out there building them, imagining them. And what I'm seeing now is it's a bit more of a knowledge management exercise that we're going through, which is, okay, you know, we can put all these pieces of knowledge, these frameworks now into a nice course, and then you can learn that, and then you're ready to go off into the new economy and build the new economy. Now, don't get me wrong. It is important to understand the concepts that have been developed so far. But your job is not just to organize them and to apply them. It's to join us in the wilderness so that we can keep inventing those new frameworks that will enable us to create something fundamentally new. And what that means is that, you know, in the past, the pioneers, the innovation, the entrepreneurial innovators, <laughs> visionaries, there was an element of they would kind of come back and, and then it would just get integrated in the mass. It would come back from that journey of the, uh, that they were on in terms of the wilderness. But what we now need is for everybody to join us in the wilderness, to be willing to walk with us in the uncharted lands, to create all together new maps, to imagine together a new world into being so that we can accelerate this. Because going mass doesn't mean that we've arrived and we put a nice structure around it and we learn about it. It means that there are more of us to keep bushing the boundaries of the known so that we can accelerate that transition because we are running out of time. So that there are more minds, more hearts, more brave souls exploring the new ideas, accelerating the new inventions and making the impossible real. Because that is what this scaling up is really about. And as always, I'd love to know, how does this land? How does it have you see things differently? And more importantly, what will you change as a result?